Hello and welcome to TRB Collectibles. My name's Tom and I will be your guide through this estate sale. Now if you've seen my videos in the past, it usually happens towards the middle or the end of the video, but today it's happening right at the beginning. We're starting off with something creepy! And it's this weird mask with teeth jutting out and these those eyes on the table with the nose and the mouth. Apparently you're supposed to put them on trees to decorate them. To me, that's terrifying. I don't know why you would want to put a face on a tree, but hey, to each their own, I guess, right? Now, I always go to these estate sales very early in the morning, and I'm usually a little hungry. I saw the Reese's over here, and I got super excited. It piqued my interest. It's even cooler that it's a magnet. It made me ponder the question. It's highly debatable. Do you pronounce that specific candy as Reese's? or Reese's. Down below in the comments, tell me how you pronounce it. This next room is filled with larger electronic items, mostly older. You have to remember, even though they're older, there's still a market for them, for people that don't necessarily want to upgrade to the new technology, and or if they like to collect older technology. It never hurts to look up pieces of electronics because you never know, there might be a value associated that you're just not checking for. Speaking of older electronics, over to the left you're going to notice a pair of foot pedals. A little bit older in technology, but what people like to do is simulate them flying an aircraft to play Microsoft Flight Simulator. So not only will they buy the handheld controls, but they'll also buy the foot pedals. Not too long ago, I got a really decent deal on both for about $20 for the set. Now granted, this one's only the foot pedals, and they wanted $65. So even at 50% off, it really wasn't worth the value to me for resale. But for somebody that wants to use them to play Microsoft Flight Simulator, it's a great pickup. Now what I'm about to pick up might look like cassettes, but these are tapes that you would put into this computer right ahead to actually run programming on. So since they were a bundled deal, I went ahead on eBay to look up the individual software, as you could say, that ran the programs on the computer. And to be very honest, it really just didn't add up for the price point. So I did have to leave them behind, but for whoever picks up that computer, We'll also get the software that comes along with it. Whenever I see old camcorders like this, I always still look them up. Even at $25 with 50% off, there's potential to be profit. You'd be surprised, some of these hold value. I saw the USA with the Olympic rings, the official camera of one of our Olympic games as far as Team USA. Went ahead and I looked it up, and lo and behold, even though it's an official camera of the Olympics for the United States, it still doesn't carry a resale value. So I had to leave it behind. One thing I can say for certain is that the person that owned this house definitely loved and had a passion for hand-created art. They were truly talented as far as in my eyes at what they were doing, and they had a wide variety of not only paintings and sketches, but also informational books that I'm going through right here. A lot of art books actually can go for pretty decent money if you get your hands on the right one. So whenever you come across a room like this that's filled with all different kinds of 
handmade art, definitely look into it because you'll never know what you might find. So there wasn't too much to the next room, but the wall on the left I found fascinating. As you can see from what we saw from the previous room, this person had a passion for painting. And in this case, their canvas was this entire wall. And whoever got to stay in this room truly had something unique to look at as they fell asleep. Over to the right, you're going to see the sealed Pepsi Cola bottles with soda still inside of it, probably expired. But there is a collector's market out there that will still want to buy filled soda bottles and cans, but very unique ones. Who would have thunk it? First of all, walking into an estate sale and seeing model trains is always exciting. It always brings so much joy to me. As you can see, they wanted $6 per car. Now, granted, there were no engines in this lot. They wanted $3 a piece today because it was 50% off day. And give or take $3 a piece, and there was, I believe, 75 of them. It would have come to $225 in total. Plus, then there's all the other accessories and whatnot that come along with them. And I decided to leave them because at that price point, the margin was just too narrow for reselling them. So before I left this estate sale, I offered them for all the trains and all the accessories that they had, I said I would do $100. She went in, she counted the trains, she looked at it, she looked at her watch, and she said, what about $125? I said, sure, you have yourself a deal. And I went ahead and I paid $1.66, give or take, per individual car that I purchased, leaving a wide wide room for margin and i was excited to walk away with model trains at this sale so overall i thought that was a good purchase and i will keep you updated as far as what sold from this n scale model train pickup And we are back to one of my favorite categories, DVDs and media. I always check them out no matter where I go. A lot of these I've seen before, so I don't necessarily have to look them up. But I saw something that I've never seen. This complete and unadulterated Benny Hill DVD lot. I went ahead and I looked it up on eBay. And for used pricing, it was going anywhere between $25 to $30 used plus shipping. And today, it was only a dollar. So easily, I went ahead and picked it up. So as I looked through these postcards, if you remember a couple weeks ago, I went to an estate sale that I bought postcards for the very first time. I will link it down in the description, and I'll also put up a banner in the right-hand corner for you to check it out if you have some free time. But 
As I looked through these postcards, thinking back to my original purchase, I realize I kinda don't need postcards right now. I have over 900 of them still to go through and list. It was nice to look at these personal postcards from trips that they had gone on and received in the mail, but I've decided to just leave them here at this estate sale for somebody else because I already have so, so many. Change your space and you, 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 pop, you step right where I was going. <laughs> I saw these patches and I wanted to know a little bit more because I know patches do pretty well. I opened up my phone to Google Lens to just take an image search and I found out that they don't really have too much of a resale value. So I left them here at this sale. So as I head into this closet full of clothing that I have no idea its value, because I'm not very familiar with clothing, granted there could be a value, there was something else of interest in this closet that was also kinda creepy, to be very open and honest with you. Um, if you take a look up, there's a, a camera, like a security camera, and this was the only room in the house that had one. In the closet. I don't know. I couldn't tell you. It was weird. This is when I went back to the bottle trains to make the final decision on if I wanted to make an offer on them, and I decided I did. I counted them up, gathered my price point in my head, and started to think of the leverage that I might have. Granted, there wasn't a lot of time left to this day three sale. It was already 50% off, and guaranteed this estate sale company wanted to see these trains gone. I went with that mindset in my mind, with the confidence of saying, hey, I'm happy to offer this amount, but I'm also equally as happy to just walk away and it worked out in my favor and i couldn't have been happier thank you for watching if you enjoyed today's video be sure to click that like button and if you have some time check out some of the other videos posted here thanks